Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N R, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the JRE. We have been solving JRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the JRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 260. And today is our lesson number 168. 168. Which I'm going to also tag as the geometry video, day number 65. Geometry for GRE, day 65. Yesterday we solved the problem. I hope you watched the yesterday's video. Yesterday we solved the problem which is still on the blackboard. It, it says the sum of the length of the two sides of an isosceles triangle is 9, one of its sides is equal to 6. The question simply was, what is, what, is the, what is the possible value of one of its sides? This particular question that we did yesterday and the quantitative comparison question that we did yesterday was based on the format of the question that appeared on page 200 of the 10th edition. I forgot to mention that yesterday. It was derived from that idea. This book right here, the 10th edition which is based on the old GRE format, 10th uh, edition. This book contains seven exams. Listen carefully, please. This book contains seven exams. This book right here has seven exams. Each exam has two sections, and each section has 15 quantitative comparison question. 15 times 2 is 30, times 7 is 210. This, this book that I'm holding in my hand has 200, 210 quantitative comparison question. Which, which have not changed. Quantitative comparison questions still exist in the new format. If you're interested in somehow getting hold of this book, get, a, get your hands on this book and go through 210 quantitative comparison questions for more practice, you will find solution to every single one of those 210 quantitative comparison questions on my channel. Just look for quantitative comparison. Also, before I solve today's problem, I would like you to watch this video. This is right here, also watch Quantitative Comparison, Day 35. Just type in my name so that uh, you don't get everything. I don't know if you're going to find me now, otherwise or not. And then type in Quantitative Comparison, Day 35, and you should be able to find it. Watch that video. Let's do today's problem. Today's problem, problem number six that is given to you, that is given to us rather, I'm going to convert that into a little bit of a different format. And here's the question. It says, it says the length of two sides, length of two sides of an isosceles triangle are fifteen and twenty two. This is what this is what you're told. Here's the question. Column A. perimeter of the triangle and column B 55 that's it I'm, I'm presenting this question in, in, in a format that you might encounter in the exam I'm modifying it problem number six is what we're doing here but I, I converted it I, 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 have, I have taken the liberty of converting it into a quantitative comparison question so let's do it together shall we so one more time all we are told, this information that appears between the two columns, that reads, that information reads, the length of two sides of an isosceles triangle are 15 and 22. The question simply is, how does the parameter of, of parameter of the triangle, how does, how does the parameter of the triangle, this was the triangle sign, compare with 55? Well, let's take a look at it. We know the two sides are 15 and 22, and we also know that it has to be an isosceles triangle, which means two of the sides have to be equal which means there are only two possibilities. Either we have two 22s or we have two, two, or we have two 15s. It is either this, where this side is 15 and this side is 15. They are equal to each other. And the bottom is 22. That's one possibility. Another possibility is 15 is at the bottom, and this side is 22, which is same as this side. Both of these possibilities are there. Both of these possibilities can, can take place. We do not know which one it is. 
All we know is that all we know is that the length of the two sides of an isosceles triangle are 15 and 22. 15 and 22, right there. 15, 15 and 22. Yeah. That's length of the two sides of the isosceles triangle are 15 and 22. Let's find the perimeter. The perimeter of this guy is going to be 15 plus 15 is 30. 30 plus 22 is going to give us 52. If this guy happens to be the case, 52, 52 is less than 55, in which case 52 is less than 55, in which case the answer would have been B, if this is the case. If that is the case, then we have 22 plus 22, which is 44. 44 plus 15 is 59. If 59 happens to be the case, if 59 happens to be the case, if 59 happens to be the case, in column B we have 55. For a second I got confused. The answer could not be the same in both cases, otherwise I've done a lousy job of making the question. If that happens, if 59 happens to be the case, then 59 is greater than 55 and the answer will switch to A. Because we do not know which one of, which one of these two scenarios we're dealing with, it could be either one of them, therefore the answer could be either A or B, and therefore the correct answer is D. Correct answer for this problem is D. That's all. Make sure you watch this video. You will get something out of it. If you watch yesterday's video, you you see how they how 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 learn to think like the exam giver. That is the most important thing. Uh, taking it, I'm, I'm breaking into a sermon as you can tell. Taking a standardized exam, a standardized a standardized exam, which is what the GR is, which is what the SAT is, which is what the GMAT is, which is what I do for a living to teach people how to take the standardized exam. Take, taking a standardized exam is like playing a game of chess. It's a mind game. It's a mind game, and in any, and in, and in, in any, or any for that matter, any kind of in any kind of game, the only way you can begin to beat your opponent, the only way you can begin to beat your opponent, is when you begin to think like your opponent. You have to anticipate their move. You cannot be good at any sports if you are unable to anticipate your opponent's move. Begin to think like them. That's what it is. They, they have a very limited. Uh, uh, arsenal, they cannot go too far out. Just master them, which is why you need the tutoring. Just master it with the, uh, and, and practice. The more you practice, the better you will get. Do you understand? Enough of that. Amen. I'm, I'm done with my sermon. I will see you tomorrow and we'll, we'll carry on where we left off. Okay? Bye now.